Hey guys, I wanted to do a review today on Amouage Myth Man. Now I ordered a sample of it. You know, these are expensive fragrances, so it's advisable that you sample these things, okay? Now this is Myth Man by Amouage. It came out in 2016. Um, I gotta admit the, uh, and I got the notes here. Uh, I have to admit the, uh, the bottle is absolutely gorgeous and that's what kind of reeled me in. And it's supposed to be a masculine scent. All right, came out in 2016, and the top notes are chrysanthemum and orris. The middle notes are rum, rose, vetiver, and elemy, and the base notes are labdomum, ash, and leather. Okay, now, uh, oh my goodness, this fragrance, um, I have powerhouses by, by this house, the ones that I like. Um, people have their preferences now, you know. But the ones that I like, the ones that I have, are Epic Man, because if I want to be epic <laughs> with Epic Man, and I also have Interlude Man, okay? These are winter fragrances, and I want something that's just going to just like cut through the butter, just straight. You know, if I want to rip it, I can rip it. If you think your cologne is loud, when I spray this crap on, if I want to be the boss, I can spray on enough sprays, I can be the boss. Whatever you're wearing is going to fade away, man, and you can forget about it. So those fragrances... <laughs> together epic I like those from the house of Amouage this one right here it's a different take and it's not you know these fragrances uh, they're 12 hours plus okay this fragrance right here is it okay um, this fragrance it starts off really wacky guys okay uh, basically for the first five minutes all I get is a uh, well when it first starts off I get a a really nice, airy, bitter citrus. Something comes out and that lasts for about 10 seconds. Bam! Then urinal cakes, man. I'm talking about, it has, it gives me the memory of a bathroom, a public bathroom. It's just straight urinal cakes. I mean, it can improve. Uh, while I'm smelling that, I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, this, this is straight garbage, you know? Um, the opening is wild. It's like a big clash of notes. Okay, but you got to give it some time. Okay, now it develops eventually into a much better fragrance, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I have the dry down right here. What I want to do is uh, it, it spray one over here. Whew! When you first spray it, man, it is a horrible mixture of notes going wild. Mm. Right off the bat is that bitter green citrus smell that I get and it's a uh, it's like a bitter green medicinal citrus you know I mean it, it smells pretty good off the bat it's real promising off the rip okay whoo good gracious ah, I don't know what that is but it's the urinal cakes that the uh, the opening for the citrus lasts all of about maybe 10 seconds man 10 15 seconds and then straight urinal cakes. My arm is gonna be urinal cakes for 30 minutes, man, okay? But then what it starts doing is it, it like starts sliding into, you start getting these florals, okay? And uh, you start getting florals out of it, um, but the florals are still kind of matched with the urinal cakes, which don't make it so grand, okay? It gets, it gets to the point where it's real odd, okay? It's just a mixture of crazy smells. Just raw, you can't, you don't know where, where it's going. It's not really projecting like headache inducing. What, what this is not gonna do, it's not gonna last, okay? Um, it's not gonna project. It's not like the offerings from Amwise that I own, okay? It's not gonna do these things. This one here becomes a ashy, you start getting the, uh, I'm thinking it says something in the description. Uh, let me read it. I always put the uh, description also in the, uh, right there, our description that I'm going to have on this video. I always put the description. I just copy and paste it, guys. Um, you know, try to cut through the fat for you. Let's see. What are they trying to do? Launch it. It doesn't even say what they're trying to do. Okay. So, whatever. Uh, description doesn't say much here. Okay. But what you wind up with is on the base, and it dries down really quickly. Um, you're not going to have 
no more than maybe, I don't know, maybe four to six hours on the fragrance. It, it's going to become a skin sit within the first two hours. I don't understand it. You know, if it's art that you're after, if it's art and some sort of artistry here that, you know, that you find intriguing, you know, I'm just a reference point, man. I'm a vessel just bringing my perception. Would I buy this bottle? Absolutely not. Um, I, if I'm going to pay this kind of price, it's going to be a beast like Tuscan leather, you know, um, I'll pay that price. Uh, Aventus, I'll pay that price. You know, something that's quality to me, that's going to, uh, that's going to project and last. Would I pay the price for this one? You know, some people are in the art. Now, if you want to add that bottle to your collection, it is boss. The bottle is beautiful, but I don't want a collective item. You know, I want something that I'm, I'm actually going to go, oh, let me get this tonight. You know, boom, and I'm going to spray that off. This one right here, this is a dry down. It's actually a, it's not really smoky. It's more of a, a burnt wood. It's ashy because I don't get much of the smoke, you know. It's ash and florals. You know, the florals are masked by the ash. The ash is pretty profound in it. You're in them cakes. Oh my goodness. Well, it's up to you. Uh, read some other reviews on it. Um, I think there's one other gentleman that has a, a review on it. Uh, what is his name? Um, uh, out of New York. New York's fragrance lover. Okay. Uh, so um, he has a review on it. Um, would I purchase this bottle again? No, I would not. Um, you better sample this one. Don't blind buy it for the bottle. But if you like the artwork and the artistry and whatever you may find in that, I like functional scents that um, really smell good and for the winter or something like that, or even for the summer, I don't know where that's gonna fit at. If it's nowhere for me, it is going to have to perform and draw me compliments. Um, this is so close to the skin and it's just ash, man. It's ash and light florals. So um, get you a sample, definitely. Uh, this may be something that someone else appreciates more than I do. In my genre, I want something that makes me say, mm, you know, this smells good to me. And then other people, you know, feel like it smells good. So all in all, guys, this is my review of Amwaj Myth Man. Okay, you guys have a great day. Whoa, you feel like urinal cakes. <laughs> Whoa. But when it goes away, it's almost a skin scent now. I'm digging for it. And where I'm maybe an hour in, you know, it'll really go real disappearance after a while. But, you know, you get the dark florals. It even hits a point where it has like this oily, potpourri smell with urinal cakes. That's right about the time the urinal cakes disappear because the florals are trying to come in and help it, you know. But when the ash kicks in, it, it grounds, you know, like boom. But then you just have a ashy floral scent. And if you smell, you really have to have it. This is like my third wearing of it. And um, I had to do it on a really clean slate right after bathing, you know, on dry skin. And then I started getting all of the, uh, the ash that's supposed to be there. You can actually smell it. It's the canvas you have to paint it on, you know. Uh, just spraying it, boom, boom, after being up and about for eight hours or better. I, it gives a different effect on just a clean canvas. So that's what I brought for you guys. Um, it's on you. Uh, you make up your own mind. I'm not telling you to buy this. I'm telling you to try this if it sounds interesting to you with a sample and a sample only. Don't run out and buy this one. All right, guys. You have a great day. Until I see you again.